I've always had just been drawn to the colors of the bright pottery, the religious folk art. And so as Jose and I traveled through Mexico, it just felt a natural thing for us to bring a part of that back with us. Actually, it started, Jose and I were going to change our lives completely. We were going to sell our house here and move to Mexico. We started having troubles finding the kind of arts in Mexico that we wanted for our own place, and we saw there was a need for a store there. We realized that maybe wasn't a great idea for us to start a business there. We had made so many contacts and met so many artists in the process. We decided to bring that culture here instead. And that's how this was born. The challenge for us was to implement our vision and to create this. And it was extremely difficult at the beginning. This happened about six years ago, actually seven years ago and we actually had to find a place. We were looking for the right place. Extremely difficult to incorporate the artistry of these people into a place that we, we've, in our, at least in my heart, that I felt that I needed to portray that artistry. Since we couldn't find it, I actually, I was lucky enough that I was able to find this place, and I actually, we built this whole thing from the ground up. When we travel, um, just to go through city and city and meet the artisans, and I think the fun part for me is to be able to see how these people, they just sit in a little chair and they create this out of their minds. To me, that has a tremendous value. Everything in here is handmade. A lot of the folk art, the artists um, that is passed down from generations, how they learn how to make the things. There's nothing assembly line, nothing done by machine. So it's the beauty of it. Nothing's exactly the same. There's no two that are ever exactly alike. And it's just incredible art from incredible people.